what's going on guys i hope you're all well today i'm going to be starting a small series on how to become a better well-rounded sniper in battlefield 1. i'm going to be covering a few important topics that hopefully improve your skills and choices overall as a sniper with the success of the recent battlefield game compared to call of duty's unfortunate infinite warfare release a lot of players have actually made the switch over to battlefield and when it comes to battlefield the rules and the mechanics of sniping are a lot different so hopefully I can make those new and existing players improve their game. So starting off this series, I'm going to be covering weapon selections and the new sweet spot mechanic that comes with each rifle. Sweet spots basically means there are certain distances that you can actually land a one hit kill to the chest. So let's take a look through the available weapons in the scout class and go over some of those important statistics of each rifle. Now, if you want to take a deeper look into each gun statistics, there's a great website that I'm going to be using today called simthick.com. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested, head over and check it out. So to start, I'm actually going to be listing each weapon by its sweet spot distance. This way you'll know which rifles work best at closer and longer ranges. So let's start with the Gua M95. Now this sniper is the odd one out, and it's why I'm starting with this weapon. The M95 is the only rifle with no 100% damage sweet spot but it does have the benefit of the straight pull bolt, which allows you to keep the scope up and keep shooting. This rifle does 90 damage from two meters out to 20 meters. So this gun will be your up close, fast paced shooting rifle. If you're looking to be really aggressive, then this will be a good choice. Just land that first shot. And if your enemy hasn't already been damaged, then just pull out the pistol to finish them off. Rinse and repeat. The second rifle here is my personal favorite. It's the SMLE Mark III. This rifle sweet spot starts at 40 meters out to 75 meters. So this rifle suits a more sit back from the action play style. Hang around just behind where the action is actually happening and you'll find that the enemies will start to pop up within that sweet spot distance. You can still be well in the action with this rifle, just pick people off from the safer distance. So next up is the Martini Henry. Now this will be your hard work gun. You'll have to grind the scout class all the way to rank 10 to unlock this rifle, but it's well worth it. This rifle's sweet spot starts at 42 meters out to 68 meters. This gun suits a more patient playstyle. The biggest tip that I could give when using this gun is to pick your shots carefully and make sure you're on target before thinking about taking the shot. Why would you want to do this? Well, this gun only has one bullet in the chamber at any one time. So if you miss your shot, you're most likely going to pay for it unless you're sitting back and picking people off from a distance. Don't challenge people up close with this gun as most of the time you're just going to get yourself killed. Just sit back and deal heavy damage from a distance. So the next rifle is the Russian 1895 Sniper. A great looking lever action rifle with a sweet spot starting at 60 meters out to 98 meters. This in my opinion is the next best thing to the SMLE Mark III. It has a bit of a further reach and suits a more mid-distance one-hit kill range. You can be really effective with this rifle in more open maps with the sniper variant. Again, take your time lining up your shots to get that one-hit kill at those longer ranges. The next rifle is the Gua 98. With a sweet spot starting at 80 meters out to 118 meters, you'll want to be sat well back and be patient with each shot. The one benefit to this gun is its high muzzle velocity of 880 meters per second. In other words, the bullets travel fast, so you can be sat well back in the distance, but when you take a shot, the bullets will reach the enemy fast. Just take your time and line up each shot perfectly, and you'll still be picking up those one hit kills from way back. So we're on to the final rifle now, which is the M1903. Now this is the rifle that will be perfect for those long distance snipers. The sweet spot for this gun starts at a massive 98 meters and will just reach out to the longest distance. This is the rifle that you'll want to be using if you want to lay down, high up in the hills, pitch up and try and hit those long distance shots. If being a proper sniper is the style you want to play, this is your rifle. So to get the best out of this gun, you will want to rank the scout class up to level three and purchase yourself the sniper variant to get that high powered long range scope. So there we have it guys, these are all the base game sniper rifles available to use in Battlefield 1. Of course there are going to be some new DLC weapons releasing over the year, but I'll be covering these weapons in future videos. I hope you all enjoyed the first part to my how to snipe series on weapon selection 
and I hope you can see why choosing the right rifle can be very important to getting the most out of your game. In the next part to this series, I'm going to be covering leading targets and bullet travel, a crucial mechanic to understand in Battlefield 1. So remember guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. And remember to hit subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.